Hey everyone, here's a question from comparing quantities and this question is really important one. The question is, the cost of an object is increased by 12%. If the current cost is 896, what is the original cost? So what is given? They have given that an object is increased. The cost of an object is increased by 12% and after selling, that is after selling the original cost or the current cost right now is 896 rupees. We have to find out the original cost. That is the object price which was before we have to find out that. Now since we don't know the original cost, let us assume it as x. Okay. Now let me explain the question once again. So before that let me assume the x here. So let the original cost be x. So original cost is equal to x. Now what they have given the cost of an object is increased by 12 percentage means we have a co original cost which is x plus they have increased it how much 12 percent so 12 percent of whatever the cost the cost was x right x and after adding this to the price is 896 i hope this is clear to you how we got see the object price was normally x okay but they have increased the price how much 12 percentage but 12 percentage of what 12 percentage of the original cost so the original price plus the increased price total together is 896 that's the current cost right now we have to find out this x so we got here an equation type we have to find out the value of x so this is x plus 12 percentage means 12 remove the percentage sign divide by 100 of means multiplication and then x is equal to 896 now this is again let me rewrite this this is x upon 1 I'm writing 1 because we have to take LCM here plus 12 into x is 2x 2x upon 100 is equal to 896 now here LCM I have to take LCM because I cannot add x and 2x upon 100 because one is a whole number one is a fraction we cannot add them so we're gonna take a LCM of the 1 and 100 which will be 100 so here this will be uh, when you take LCM LCM is a hundred let me write down here LCM is hundred now we know we have to make denominator 100 right so for the first number I have to make it 100 so with this one I have to multiply 100 in the numerator and denominator so x into 100 divided by 1 into 100 the same way how you do for other questions like when you're solving a fraction or rational number how you do it the same way I'm doing here plus 2x upon 100 for this number we don't have to do anything because we already have 100 is equal to 896 now let me solve on this side so this is 100x divided by 100 plus 12x divided by 100 is equal to 896 now denominators are same so we have to add the numerator so 100 I'll get in the denominator in the numerator we'll get 100 plus 12x I guess you have learned this whenever denominators are same we have to add the numerator and that is why we have that is how we have changed the, uh, the denominator to 100 so we can add it so 100x plus 12x uh, upon 100 is equal to 896 so when you add the numerator we'll get 112x upon 100 now here i want only the value of x i don't want this 112 and 100 in the in the on the left hand side so i'm going to transpose this to the other side so 100 is division when you transpose it comes in multiplication similarly 112 is in multiplication when you transpose it comes in division so let me just change everything here and, and write it as x is equal to 896 multiplied by 100 and here this is divided by 112 okay we are just cross multiplying 112 is in multiplication so it comes in division when you when you transpose this to other side similarly 100 is in division when you transpose this to other side comes in multiplication with 896 now we have to cancel the numbers okay you can cancel this number in um, two table or you can cancel the number which is like whichever table you know and these numbers will get cancelled now you cancel them so let me here try with four so we'll ch uh, let me see if one one two will uh, get cancelled with four 
it will get cancelled 112 and uh, 896 will also get cancelled in a, a 4 table and in 2 table I'm going to cancel directly in 4 table okay so 896 when you cancel in a 4 table let me cancel this so 896 uh, divided by 4 is 224 okay let me show you how we got 224 see 4 2s are is 8 I have 9 so 4 2s are is 8 again so 1 is a remainder that 1 I'm gonna keep it along with 6 that makes the number 16 and 4 4s are is 16 this is how I do the cancellation if you don't if you have in your own way of cancelling the numbers you can do that you're not gonna get the same answer or you can divide the number and when you cancel this 102 and 4 table, so 4 twos are is 8, 9, 10, 11. 3 numbers are left. The 3 is left. So I'm going to write this along with 2. So that makes the number 32. And uh, 4 eights are is 32. Now we have a 224 and 224. We can directly cancel this in uh, uh, which table? A 28 table directly if you want it. Or you can cancel again this in a... Uh, uh, different table so let me check this with the seven table so 224 if I divide this with seven it will go so let me cancel seven table seven fours are is 28 and here seven threes are is 21 one is left so 14 seven twos are 14 32 and 4 I can cancel again four table four ones are and 4 eights are 32 there's a lot of cancellation here so in the numerator at the end I'm left with 8 and this 100 in the denominator I'm left with only 1 so 8 into 100 is 800 in the denominator we have 1 it will not gonna make any uh, change to the value so 800 is the answer so therefore this is equal to 800 which means the original cost was 800 so therefore x is equal to 800 or rupees 800 rupees 800 so that's it i hope this question is clear now if you have any other question from this chapter or any other chapter please drop a comment or type the whole question i'll try to make a video on it thank you so much for watching